Hey everybody, good morning. So today is Thursday. I've been trying to go thrifting every Thursday. It snowed four inches. I'll turn the camera around. It is still snowing, but I still think that I'm gonna go out. I'll just drive slow. I have a truck. I can put it into four wheel drive if I need to, but I all I have tons to do in the house, but I also feel like getting out of the house. You know how that is? So we're gonna go at least to Thrifty Flea. I think Thrift Mart. Might stop at Copper Dog, and then there's a Goodwill on Euclid that's supposed to be really good that I cannot mentally picture ever having been to. So I'm gonna go check that one out. I'm also gonna hit up Collectomania. I wanna ask them about their auctions. So they have an auction every Wednesday um, night, and I've never gone because I didn't live anywhere close, but I do now. So I'm gonna ask them kind of like how things are ran, if I can preview while I'm there today for next Wednesday and um, just kind of get the scoop. So then that might be it. We'll, we'll see what my mood is at that point, but then I might go to the South side again and hit up just a few more like flea markety spots, maybe less thrifty spots and we'll see what we get. So here is the snow situation. I shoveled a little path for Bella and got her some grass. I shoveled the front just barely this morning. There's the fire hydrant. And then I did the back driveway, mainly just so the kids could get in their cars. And yeah, it's a beautiful snow. It's like perfect snowman weather. It's perfect snowball fighting weather because um, it's kind of warm and the snow is just super sticky. So it's beautiful. Okay, so I had to drop off a package at Hy-Vee. I really like this popcorn. So I came out of the grocery store like it was a gas station. Got some Boom Chicka Pop and then they have two for four on the Alani's. So I got that because I really like the cherry slush. Okay, check it out. We are at Thrifty Flea Market and he had two little side tables beside each other. They're very, very similar from the top, especially in looking at the legs, but the drawers are so different. This one's definitely much older, has been repaired. It's just a very unique drawer front. There's little um, cup, little finger cut out in the front for you. This one is more clean lines looks newer just mainly because of the drawer there's no tongue and groove on the side okay i lied there is tongue and groove but it just looks different newer rusty crusty always calls my name now this could be newer and just have been outside and aged like this maybe it was a lampshade but so many repurposing options so if you like brass, you would love coming to the Thrifty Flea Market because he always has a lot of pieces. These cranes were so cheap, but it made me wonder why are they cheap? Are you ever like that? So they're pretty lightweight. The bottoms on them are different and I did go ahead and leave them. Next up was Thrift Mart where they had all of their Christmas 90% off. I saw things this week that I didn't see last week or the week before. So I think they were still putting whatever Christmas they got donated out into this 90% off pile. I did dig through some fabric items and found a couple cute stockings. They did have the made in Japan tag. They kind of looked homemade at the same time. I just, they were super cheap, but I just didn't feel a, an immediate connection to them. So I left them.
brass seems to be really popular. This little shell dish, you could put jewelry in it, have a bar of soap, pressed aluminum. I have had customers who collect this. The handles on this sugar bowl, I guess is what it is. I've just never seen any looped out so wide and on both sides. Next up, we are at Collectomania. I have never seen a Scrabble board so tiny and petite. This must be a travel one. And then this light cage is like twice the size of others I've seen. Little wagons like this. This one was priced too high for me to resell, but you can put these on your table or your counter, put little sugar and creamers on there, put a little stack of butter plates, do hay bales, put terracotta pots, lots of cute options. And then since my son passed away, I always really like angel wings. This one is probably new, but I still liked it. And I think it would look great just on a coffee table or any dresser. My nephew called raccoons trash pandas. And ever since I just see them and it makes me chuckle. These are kind of unique and they're actually Mark Donesco. This lobster dish is fun. I could see having that out on your counter. I thought it was maybe homemade, but it is actually stamped on the bottom. And then these dishes were so pretty. They're just like a muted yellow, tons of crackling and crazing. And there is a little bit of damage, but I think that also just adds some character to it. These are new, but they're soup holders and cracker holders. I love the color and I have never seen a bowl like this, but I almost bought them just because I think it would be fun to use. Drop in the comments if you have used one before. I'm curious. Okay, I have the perfect Valentine upcycle for you. Take this tire iron or any tire iron and pair it with a plate and you have an automatic X and O. Oh my goodness, have you ever seen an iron this big? It's taller than me, wider than me. I mean, this thing is like commercial grade ironing board. Oh, this fish basket was such a great price, but the little handle was broken. I wasn't really sure if I could fix it and I would like to have the option to hang it. I was thinking the little belt loops that are there, I could have added some twine to hang it that way or got some leather to hang it, but I left it. This sewing cabinet was so pretty, but so heavy. It did have a little bit of damage just from the age and use, but I still could see it being used as a cute table. I love collections. It doesn't even matter what it is. Even these syrup containers look good all grouped together or these little toothpick holders.
Next up, we have Goodwill on Euclid. I had actually been here before. Liked these bells. I know everyone wants Santa mugs, but these deer are pretty cute too. I had to just tell myself no when I found this bundle of styrofoam pumpkins. I could have painted them any color that I wanted. They're, they were a great price, but I have a ton of pumpkins, so I just said no. I really like these succulents, but they were just covered in glitter and the glitter kind of ruined it for me. This planter is a gorgeous color. Again, new, but I love the color. If you ever feel you have areas in your home that have a lot of clutter, maybe a kitchen counter or in your bathroom, take all of your spices or soap or perfumes or makeup bottles and put them on a tray like this and it instantly makes it feel like less clutter. I typically try to stay away from retro and mid-century modern, but for $1.99, I'm going to get this little cute owl towel holder. It is discolored a little bit, could just be age, could have been in a smoker's house, but it doesn't smell. And then this plant definitely caught my eye. It looks so real. I think I need it. Another tip for you is if you don't have scrap boards or you're wanting to make some signs or DIY something, just go buy something at the thrift store and then paint over it. Next up, we are at Salvation Army and this is a new little food placemat for your dog. I really think I need one, but this one seemed pretty beat up already for being new especially. The teapot, mm, super unique. A video I did a while back that went viral was decoupaging the clipboard. So I always look for clipboards, even the newer ones, because you can decoupage on them and then use them for jewelry or photos. Just a fun, different way to show off pictures. The Salvation Army had some amazing old couches. Totally made me think of my grandparents. The chair looked Awesome, great price. When you set on it, you like fell down 10 feet. Help me out here on this tag. I'm not really understanding it. The 60 is on top of the 50. They increased the price. Now we are at Brass Armadillo. This is the second ice cream cardboard container that I've seen. I think a collection of those would be super fun. And this picnic basket, love the colors. I've had a few. I'm always on the hunt for some, especially green ones. This little music clip was cute. I'm not really sure what it would have attached to at one point. There were actually two of these paintings. One was hanging and one was sitting on the shelf. I just loved how three-dimensional they were and how thick the paint was. And then albums like this, people always take the photos out, especially at this price. I didn't even really need to look. I knew that there weren't gonna be any photos. These little pitchers or creamers were here the last time I was. The blue one, it looks like it, it has a little chip there, but it looks like it's been repaired, but there are no cracks on the inside. So I, I'm not sure there's just something on the outside discoloring it maybe. This one was super cheap. And then the black and white transfer wear um, also had a, a decent price. I recently picked up a wood carved quail and someone said it actually is supposed to go with a smaller one. So maybe this is the smaller one. A 
this wall mounted shelf i loved the shape of it i loved the size of it and it was only 25 dollars I left it just because I couldn't figure out where I would hang it, but if I can figure out a place, I will be going back. I also love looking at all of her strawberry shortcake stuff. We used to have a doll, and I'm gonna tell you that for like 40 years, the thing still smelled like strawberry shortcake. This is like a miniature display stand. You could put little itsy bits in each one of those little spots. No idea what it really was. I did have some success on Google, but I don't even know what an idly stand is. Have you ever seen anything like this? It's some kind of tray with like an Indian headpiece on the back end. I loved it. It was silver plated. Oh my goodness. Have you ever seen a phone like this? It's plastic. It's like a little music box. I sell the little tin ones all the time, but I have never seen one like this. Too cute and great color. These candle holders really caught my eye. I just love the lines. All right, who had one? I loved, loved, loved this game. Back home, unpacking, and we got a nail, chipped a nail. Hey guys, so I had a good day thrifting today. I did hit up um, Brass Armadillo Antique Mall, Thrifty Flea. I stopped at Goodwill, Salvation Army, Thrift Mart. And I think that's it. Copper Dog was closed today, but it was on my route. It snowed until like 11. And so I was kind of limited on where I went just because of the weather. And then I had to pick up my youngest from school so I couldn't go out for too, too long. So I'm gonna just share with you what I got at the different locations. I will have all of them linked down in the description for you. Just tap by my name and um, the description section will, will pop down. So I don't get a lot of milk glass, this hobnail, but I thought this one was very unique. I'm guessing it's a candle holder and oh, there's a chip right there. I did not see that before. I'm guessing it's a candle holder around the ring and then there in the center. But I was thinking more for like, hat pins because you could spread those out if you collect um clothes pins even you could do that you could set a plant there so i got it because it's just unique it's different than other things that i've seen and it's a fenton also these are things that i picked up at thrifty flea just an old um, medicine bottle no stopper here but i have a lot of stoppers so fingers crossed that i can find the right size. I grabbed another receipt holder and I shared before the idea of you take those long thin ornaments and you can funnel them on here and this makes a stand for that. Then Gary's had these trumpets for quite a while. I only got one of them. The other one was sold this time. You can see that it's really um, clean. So it's probably been setting in somebody's house for years. But I kept passing them and passing them. And then for whatever reason, today I went ahead and got the one that was left. It does have the mother of pearl buttons or knobs or whatever. And it also has the mouthpiece, which a lot of times that slides off and is missing. So even though there's no case with it, I still really liked it. It's really good in good condition and I, I liked it. I normally have no problem selling trumpets or cornets or violins or any kind of instrument like that. 
Okay, then this is marked vintage. I don't know if it is or not because if you leave anything sitting in your garden long enough, it's gonna rust and look old. It almost looks like it would have been a cage on a light. You could pretty much do whatever you wanted to it. So I could set a candle in there on this little piece that's now basically a riser that probably would have um, held it over the, the light bulb. But I just liked it. No matter what I do with it, I could even just set, you know, this is not the right size, but set a pot down in there and put a plant in it or do some kind of other repurpose that way. So those are the things that I picked up at Thrifty Flea. And then I also stopped at um, Goodwill on Euclid and I didn't think I'd ever been to that one just because of how it was explained to me how to get there. However, I've been there before many times actually because my girlfriend Hillary, that's one of her favorite Goodwills. But whenever I was up here before, I didn't live here. And so like my mind didn't have where I physically was, <laughs> you know, mapped out. Now I know where it is in my mind and the map. So I typically typically don't get mid-century modern um, retro things, but I mean, look at this cute owl. I'm guessing this is just like a towel holder. Now it is kind of browned a little bit, um, which I think I pointed out in the video. It's either, it doesn't smell like a smoker, so it could be smoker, it could just be years and years of sitting in the same spot. And then I also found this um, swirl, enamel colander at the thrift store. I love it because it's footed. Put this on your counter, throw your fruits and vegetables in it, soap and sponge and washcloth all rolled up. I mean, you can do so many fun things with that. And then the other thing that I did end up coming home with for $5 was this big faux plant. I think that it looks real. I, so far, have not killed the plant, the fit, fiddle leaf that I bought um, over the summer. I do not have a green thumb. I get, did get a plant from a friend that I have not killed yet, but I mean, hello, I can set this outside in the summer. I can put it up in my crock for right now. And all you need to do is like take some Spanish moss and tuck in there and then, you know, it will look good again. Okay, so those are the things that I got at Goodwill. Then I went to Collectomania, and again, this girl has had some wine bottles, is what I think it is, in there for forever. Now, I know a lot of people will keep this covering on them, but you can also take the covering off. It's a beautiful green bottle. I did like this one as well because it had this um, USA Army stamp on it, which I'm not really sure what the history is or reasoning for that. I also got this little hand mirror. It's beveled um, and then wood. So I've seen at another shop, and I've shared this before when I've had little um, hand mirrors like this, but you can put a cloche on it, this glass part, and just leave the handle out, or just use this kind of like a riser or something to accentuate a figurine or something that you want to show off that will fit in that mirror. I also grabbed this little um, hen. It does have Japan um, stamped on it here in the back and I just thought it was cute. Don't need to use this faux succulent. I've got some better ones but I just thought that it was super cute and it needed picked up. And then I got another planter, just this plain white one. This one is uh, Shawnee, I think, USA, and it's got a number there. Um, I'm going to try to not only get faux plants, but real plants um, this summer. And so I kind of grabbed that with myself in mind, but like always, everything I grab pretty much is for sale. This is a little crate that was not marked in the booth. Um, I had them go ahead and call her. You can see it was made out of a bigger crate. Um, you can see here as well. I, since I have moved, I've literally sold all but a couple of um, cheese crates, really. Everything has sold. So make sure you ring that bell so you get notified. And then this was at Salvation Army. 
I don't go there very much. It's a good Salvation Army, I would say, but a fish cutting board, it was the right price. It's cute. You could lean it against your backsplash for some layering and definitely would look great in a cabin. You can hang it on the wall. So grab that. And then look what I found. I mean, I, I just can't get over how lucky I have been on finding these little butter press molds. So this one is a unique shape. It's just kind of fatter, bigger than the other ones that I've had. I had seen this on Pinterest a long time ago and I always sell everything. So I never get a collection. So this is for sale, but I, if I ever get to where I have multiples, I'm going to, I think, do in the boys room, just basically hang maybe three first aid kits above the toilet. It looks so, so cute. And then also on any of these boxes like this, well, they all have hangers. That one looks like it's a bent to all get out, but you, how these open, which is, <clears throat> it smells, just how they're used. Um, you can keep it open. This is kind of like a, a desk. And then you can put your little bottles and, and uh, medical things on the shelves. And then you can do more things down here on that flat surface. So it's locked in there basically however it's hinged. Also at Brass Armadillo, I picked up this little bed. Um, this one has like that cardboard stuff. I can't think of what it's called. But these little beds are super cute as book holders. So you can line up your books in here. Definitely gonna have to be the right size, um, but that's an option. You can also take, which I don't have anything um, close, but little like terracotta pots and put on here and do a flower bed. I really just liked it. And again, the right price. I was very pleasantly surprised with this. If you've watched any of the any of the thrifting with Hillary's that I've done or junking with Hillary's, we, these automatically always call my name. I see them and I check the price. This one is a little, seems a little newer. I think it's just the style. Some of the veneer has popped off there that doesn't even bother me. They had it labeled as a jewelry box, case, whatever. It's not that old because everything has been nailed in. There's not, not tongue and groove. But also the the sides look new. So part of me thinks that they just rebuilt the, the door the drawer. But who knows? But it's still super cute. Put it on your bathroom counter, put your jewelry in it, put it in your bedroom, put your jewelry in it. Or if you are a crafter, put it on your office, on your desk, and put your little things in it. Love it, because then you can show off some things here. And it's just like, you know, it swivels. It's just like an antique one. It's got some number down here. I'm not really sure what that is. And it has somebody's return label, Route 1, I think. So I know when I was growing up, everything was Route something. And then I think when I went to college they switched it over and gave everybody numbers because for, you know, 20 years I was route three and then you go to college and everybody's like asking you for your address when you're filling out all this paperwork and now I have a house number. <laughs> they probably thought I was stupid because I didn't know my address, but it's because it was like brand new. Everybody was route before that. Also at Brass, I got this washboard. So I need to do some research on it to see if somebody, those are, those are like dowels. If somebody made this, if this is how they originally came, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but the metal washboard part is curved on both sides. It's metal. Looks like somebody's polyurethane both sides and then it, it's together. So see how they're, that's showing you the curve a lot better. I did mess at the, at the mall because one of them was out. See, it's like had been glued or whatever, but they have a board running down the center. So I think that they really were hooked together. I need to research that, or if you know, make sure and drop it in the comments. 
This I got probably more for myself or a local pickup because it is it is slate, it's nice and heavy. Um, this one I have back here is also slate. That was my grandma's. This one is basically a smaller version of it. Somebody has added some eyes on the back so you could put wire and hang it. I always think it's pretty heavy so I like to just set it but you have the little chalk holder and I just think they're fun even if you don't write on that like with chalk it gives a nice layering effect you know so if you are decorating a shelf or a buffet or a dresser or whatever I like to have the option of putting maybe something dark behind smaller lighter colored things in the front on that actual piece of furniture. I'm looking around just to double check that I shared everything with you and I did. So again, thanks for going shopping with me today. Thanks for checking out my haul. Everything is available. So if you're interested in prices of anything, just drop it there in the comments or you can Facebook me or email me. That seems to be what my followers um, who've been around here for a while are doing, but feel free to drop it in the comments if you want. If you're on your phone, you just basically click where it says comments and then it pops up that you can actually add a comment. I know being a newer person to YouTube, I'm still trying to figure out how to use everything. So play around, ask if you don't know how to do something, but leave a comment if you are curious about a price. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Okay, so I shared my haul. I told you I cut my, uh, chipped my nail. And, oh, you can't see it that way. And look, <laughs> I think I'd taken my fingernail that had chipped and I combed my hair back out of my face and drew blood. Picking is a dangerous business.